and welcome to the inaugural episode of Track Pack. I'm Jalopnik's Mike Balaban. And I am Kristen Lee. And we, in Track Pack, we're going to go and play video games and race around tracks and talk about the tracks and talk about the cars we're racing in and have a lot of fun. And this week, what do we have? We have a couple of Fiat 124 Abarth Spiders. Yeah, and Forza 7 on Laguna Seca. So they're calling it WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. Before that was Mazda Laguna Seca. And then, I, I don't know. I mean, do you care about the sponsors? Because I certainly do not. It's Laguna Seca. Um, you I don't might think anyone calls it Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. No, they just nobody. call it Laguna Seca. Yeah, because that's what it's called. Uh, it's in Northern California, around Monterey, California, which is uh, a bit south of San Francisco. And if you're driving from Monterey, uh, to San Francisco, like I've done many times to catch a flight after Pebble Beach, uh, you should always stop at the Garlic World. The it. what? Yeah. Oh, wait. I've heard yeah. about this. I forgot this what... is like your thing. Yeah, you stop at Garlic World and you get like pickled everything. And it's awesome. That's what you do when you're at Laguna Seca. Because Laguna Seca is, it's, it's kind of weird because you don't, you sort of think about these things as like separate of places and events. But Laguna Seca is kind of right in the middle of all like the Pebble Beach Concours festivities. It's like Pebble Beach, Monterey, Laguna Seca, they're all right next to each other. So whenever you have like the Pebble Beach Concours, you also have the like historic races that are there. So it's fun because you get to see lots of like fat, sweaty, rich dudes racing around in 1970s Ferraris. Oh, my calling. Yeah, and then, and then I mean, then what they do after the race is what you have to do traditionally is you take uh, the top half of your race suit off, you know, because it's hot, it's hot, it's in the and middle you, of and August. And you just wear it. Yeah, and that like, works if you're James Hunt. That's my <sighs> fond memory Under of the Under the glaring Seca. sun, mm -hmm. you're dehydrated, hungover, slightly coked out. Mm, mm, that's the dream right that's there. That's what greets you. Yeah, and the truth of the matter is they actually, they had to go to Laguna Seca because uh, in the 1950s they were doing all sorts of races on the awesome little roads around Pebble Beach, but the problem is uh, there are awesome little roads that are public little roads. Uh, so they opened up Laguna Seca in 1957 on like part of an old military base, and then- Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait. what? Who was racing? People. Like, what kind of people? Rich people. So they made a racetrack- Yeah. To get the racing rich people off the public roads. Well, yeah, because if they kill themselves on the racetrack, at least they're not killing other people. So they created this in 1957, and it's been pretty awesome ever since. And what I love about a racetrack that's like old, like this one is, I mean, okay, it's not as old as, you know, the ones in Europe, but it's pretty old for an American track. And what I love about this one is that it's got, if you look at the top half of the screen, I'm about to come off to it, it's got the corkscrew, which is this crazy turn, which is really famous in the racing world. Um, if you know all about it, uh, shut up, I don't care, you're watching, you know, just enjoy. But, uh, <laughs> Have you um, gone down the corkscrew before? I have not gone down the corkscrew before, which is, I know, a deep failing, but you know what? That's why we're doing this in the video game. I'm cause trying to call out the failing, I'm just curious. It's, it's, I acknowledge my failings. Mm. Yeah. That's how you appear weak. But, well, I am, all right? I've got dainty wrists. I don't like to talk about it. What is that? Oh, look at that great power slide. Oh, power slide. I've been to Laguna Seca. It's actually, it's weird, because the racetrack is all sort of like dirt and whatever, but it actually is kind of green. Um, outside there in Monterey. Um, that's, I mean, they have lots of golf courses there. It has to be green, even if it's, you know, all artificially watered. Um, but it's really nice there. And so I just, my best lap, it says, is a 150, right? Which is ever so slightly off the production car lap record of... The Dodge Viper ACR. You actually said that really well. But yeah, so Dodge Viper ACR is a production car lap record. It's 128, which is like, it really is blisteringly fast. Um, and it should be because it's an ACR, which uh, Dodge calls a production road car, but it's really like an all-out race car. Wasn't it like on slicks and it had like a stop sign as a spoiler it, and- It had a whole kitchen table as a Yeah, spoiler. something it, massive as a, as a and, and then ridiculous. like- ankle slashing chin splitter. It was like barely a road car. It was absolutely nuts. But the overall unofficial lab record is held by the Ferrari F2003 GA at Formula One car, which is, it's as good as you think. I actually looked up the uh, record times for production cars at Laguna Seca, and the Viper beat out the P1 and the 918 Spider, which I find well, cause Hilarious. Well, because those are fast cars, but they're not race cars. The Viper ACRs are race cars. 
That's Speaking true. of racing, what have what have you been doing, Kristen? Losing. Yeah, clearly. Because I won. Well, I'm really glad that you uh, you win with grace <laughs> and humility. I think grace, style, um, and I'm gonna throw beauty in there too. Why not? You mentioned oh, yeah. beauty in every single one of these videos that we do. No, I'm really glad that you believe self, it's, self value. It's true, and someone's got to say it. Thank you so much for joining us on Track Pack. I hope you enjoyed this, the very first episode. I'm Jalopnik's Mike Balaban. And I am Jalopnik's Kristen Lee. Thanks so much.